the reason you go for kids is because whatever they learn by the time they're seven, eight, nine years old is pretty well there for the rest of their lives. And this is statistics that you can research for yourself. No, I, 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 I know these statistics, but you use the term learn. I learn. The word learn is different than indoctrinate. God gave us a brain. God gave us the freedom to choose, and learning is part of that choice. And I think every time the fundamentalist movement, Becky, interferes with that, we're doing harm. We're doing harm to the progression of mankind. I don't think any child gets anything by choice. Um, as I understood your question to me was, do you feel it's right for the fundamentalists to indoctrinate their children with their own beliefs? I guess fundamentally, yes, I do, because every other religion is doc- indoctrinating their kids. Hello, I would like to see more churches indoctrinating. I mean, you can tell a child anything. Just like I said, you can tell a child, uh, you can make a child into a soldier that carries an AK-47. You could call it brainwashing, but I am radical and passionate in teaching children about their responsibility as Christians, as God-fearing people, as Americans, if you want to say Well, Becky, let me ask you this. How do we ignore that all of a sudden we're creating children soldiers for the Republican Party? How, how does that figure into anything that Christ had to say about how we should live our life on the earth? It's, I'm not, I, I am not aware of any churches that are out there with a political cost. I, I'm, I'm not going after my kids politically, but that, you know, because at the same time, I want to say, and I don't have any problem saying to my children, we are pro-life. I got to tell you, God is watching us. God ha- and, I, and God has a very special place for those people who mess with our children. It's not a pretty place. You know, you know, I'm not going to go there, Mike. You know, what's always made this country special, what's always set this country apart is because there is something that we call a separation between church and state. That's always something that separates us and has separated us for 200 years. It has worked. I respect your right as a fundamentalist to teach your children whatever you want to teach them. But don't let that bleed over into the public sector. Don't let that bleed over into the schools. I beg to differ with you. Christianity is important. We believe it's the most important religion in the world because it changes the lives of people. But, Becky, it's a witch's brew. It's going to take over democracy. You know, I think democracy is the greatest uh, political system on earth, but that's just it. It's the only, it's the only, it's just what's on earth. There, you know, and it's ultimately designed to destroy itself because we have to give everyone equal freedom and ultimately that's going to destroy us you know and so the perfect world is not going to be perfect until jesus is truly lord okay becky thanks for joining us okay you bet oh man the more i hear about this i mean it just gets crazier and crazier 